We are entering the prime time of the year where you might find ticks on yourself or your pets. Scientists at UK say though they're getting hundreds of ticks in the mail as part of their surveillance program. They tell LEX 18's Austin Pollock a lot of people who are sending them aren't necessarily understanding the point of the research. Researchers want to get one thing straight. If you're concerned about tick exposure to yourself or your pet, the best thing you can do is reach out to your doctor. We are uh, scientists, entomologists, not, not medical doctors. Reddy Pally is the state entomologist and also works as the entomology department chair at the University of Kentucky. As part of the tick surveillance program, Pally says they've received hundreds of ticks in the mail. We are not in business of uh, diagnosing diseases. Uh, all we are trying to do is find out what kind of ticks are present in Kentucky. Those last few words, present in Kentucky, are essential. This is only for ticks found in the state. We have been getting hundreds and hundreds of envelopes with the ticks uh, from all over the country. They say that not all of the mail that they're getting is actually all that helpful for their research, but if you do want to help, they say there are rules you need to follow before you send your ticks in the mail. The rules are outlined in this Facebook post and on their website. They can't accept live ticks. They ask you not send liquid alcohol or a dead tick in a paper envelope. We cannot use most of these samples we are receiving because they are not properly preserved. We could use them only if they're properly preserved, packaged. Pally says they appreciate people wanting to help. They welcome submissions, but he stresses that there is one person working on this and they can't always return calls with what they find in each tick. Again, if you have concerns or find a tick on you, he says the best thing you can do is call your doctor. In Lexington, Austin Pollock, LEX 18 News.